I got a SIG MCX, I got 30 rounds, I got a bunch of targets, so here we go. Let's roll. targets there's only three standing welcome to the pyramid outsider this is the sig mcx hey what's up guys welcome to the pyramid outsider um now this is a Cool, cool, very cool, very intimidating, very bad mamma jamma looking rifle. The only thing that's disappointed this rifle is it's not as big and as, as, as bad as it looks, to be honest. It's a 177. Nothing wrong with 177 other than the fact that it's just a 177, small caliber, um, but a lot of fun. This is a very fun rifle to shoot. Let's first of all, let's take a look at it. It is CO2 powered. It is semi-auto. There's a 30 round rotary mag. So it's like a, it's like a little magazine. I'll show you as, as we move through it. But first of all, let's take a look at the gun itself. Obviously, it's very tactical looking, as you would expect from Sig Sauer. Sig Sauer's recently gotten into the air gun market and uh, they're putting out guns that are just they're just awesome looking. So, I, I mean, these are the kind of guns I wish I had when I was a kid to go out and play with and, uh, you know, hunt small game and, and shoot target stuff because they just look awesome. It has a metal housing, so everything in here in the component side is metal, is tough, um, and, and is built right. You've got your safety right here. It's kind of got that AR look to it, if you will. It's got the pistol grip. Uh, it's got the magazine here um, over on the back side. Push it, pops open, and as you can see, this is the, the magazine. Um, let me just pull it out and show you. So it holds 30, 30 pellets. Like I said, it slides, so you load it up. It's already loaded, but you slide it in. It's rotary, it just moves like this. Um, and you fire as, you know, as, fast as, as fast and as fierce as you can. You got the uh, 30 rounds. Uh, it's got, a, it's got the, uh, the handle up here, the little grip. You can move this around. You can also remove it if you just want to hold it uh, up here on the, on the front of the stock. It's got the weaver rail back here for the optics. It's got the Picatinny rail up here where you can put all kinds of stuff. It's got a, uh, look at the rear and front sides pop up and down so you can use those. It also comes with the Sig Sauer Air Guns red dot sight that goes on the top there to make it even cooler. Uh, on the other side, I mean, it's got all the, not everything works, you know, like normal, all this stuff doesn't flap open, you can't, you know, push this stuff, but it's it's there. Uh, when you when you load it, you rack it just like you normally would uh, with a, with a semi-auto rifle. Other than that, that's it. You know, the basic rundown of this gun is you pop this off the back, there's just a little, you know, just release it there, and then you plug an 88 or 90 gram uh, CO2 capsule in there, they're the, they're the bigger capsules, and this slides over the top of it uh, and gives it that look. I don't have those because I don't love those. Those 88 gram CO2 cartridges are expensive and you don't get near as many shots as you should. So what I am going to do with this gun, because it's what I try to do with all CO2 rifles that I can, is it doesn't look as cool. So I want you to take it in. This is the SIG MCX. We're going to change it a little bit now. We're going to pop this off. And Air Venturi has come out with this 13 cubic inch um, tank that you can replace CO2 cartridges with this and put 3,000 PSI into this gun. This thing is regulated to 1,100 PSI. So from 3,000 to 1,100, you're getting a regulated shot. You're gonna get a tremendous amount of more shots uh, from this than you are from a CO2 cartridge. You'll always know exactly how much air you have. It comes with this little adapter. It's pretty simple. So you wanna screw this in and then so from what I've learned, it's best to kind of screw in what is the adapter, and then you should just be able to screw this guy in. Okay, and then it comes with this uh, little butt pad you can just throw on, so you can have the same uh, effect of the rifle. So, you know, it's a little bit longer than this. It's obviously not near as cool, but I mean, I just turned this CO2 gun into a PCP. Now I've got this uh, male quick disconnect. I'll just plug her in, fill her up, and then we can start doing some testing on the SIG MCX. Here we go, let's do this. Rack it. Locked and loaded. 
425 feet per second. 405 feet per second. 423 feet per second. Oh, 384, dropped a little bit. Shooter error, but 431. 400, I mean, are you kidding me? There's six, nice little group. Let's see what we can do. When you're done, it goes in a safe, can't shoot anymore, 376. All those, pretty good group at 25 yards. Guys, for, for a 177 gun like this, looks like this, a semi-auto, it doesn't get any cooler. I mean, it's got you know pretty good speed. You're looking at high 300s. For the most part, mm, mid to low 400s which is good enough for this. this, is a good plinking gun. I mean, I don't, I would not recommend going and doing any hunting with this, um, personally. I mean, very, very small game, you know, I say like, like, uh, like cockroaches, maybe, ants. But for the most part, this is a gun for fun, for plinking, for knocking down targets. Let's take it to the fun range and see what we can do with it. Shall we? We shall. Uh, but I wanna see if it has the power to blow the 130 PSI bottle we've got down there, the two liter. Oh no. So that's a big negatory. But let's see what we can do to a can of soda. Oh, there you go. See, got some power for the can. Let's see how good of aim I have with the rocket shot. Hit it up, shoot the can in the air, hit the can. I'm gonna go ahead and say I probably missed that. <laughs> you know what I'm not gonna miss? King Kong's giant face. Reload! All right, so looking at the, uh, the, the kind of the magazine here, there's a flat side and then this side has like a little, it's just like the little part. You put it in the, in the thicker part. The thicker part you put that pe pellet down. So I'm finishing up here. But, so once you get in like that, and then you look at this, you'll notice that these little pegs fit right in there, and then it just slides in, like so. Pellets are facing out. <laughs> ha ha, King Kong, ha ha. Now you gotta drop that chalk, buddy. Just drop it. King Kong, I said, drop it! Drop the chalk! Ah! Ha! Ah! King Kong, dead gummy, you're the toughest monkey in the world. I get it, but just fall down. Guys, look. This is a great, fun, plinking target gun. It's great if you throw this adapter on there from Air Venturi. You know, it's not gonna have the most power. It's not gonna be able to pop off some of the big things we've got out here. But you talk about knock down targets, hit little things at different distances, all the way up to 35, 40 yards. This is it. The SIG MCX. You can get it for 180 bucks. It's a repeater, it's 30 shots, it's semi-auto, 177. And it's as fun as you wanna make it. And we make it fun. Thank you for watching The Outsider. See you next time.